Hello everyone, welcome to Continental Update, where we update you on things you know and what you don't know around the world and in Africa. Today we are going to talk about Sao Tome and Principe. Principe was initially named Santo Antao, that is Saint Anthony, changing its name in 1502, Prince Island, in reference to the prince of Portugal to whom duties on the island's sugar crop were paid. Sao Tome and Principe is an archipelago which share maritime borders with Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Cameroon, and Nigeria. Carlos Manuel Villanova is a Sao Tomean politician who is the fifth and current president of Sao Tome and Principe since 2021, 2nd October. Nana Travoada is the first lady of the Democratic Republic of Sao Tome and Principe and wife of Prime Minister Patrice Travoada, 15th Prime Minister of the Republic of Sao Tome and Principe. Staple foods include fish, seafood, beans, maize, and cooked banana. Tropical fruits such as pineapple, avocado, bananas are significant components of the food ingredients in Sao Tome and Principe. The use of hot spices is prominent in Sao Tome's cuisine. Coffee is utilized in various dishes as spice or seasoning. The dominant crop on Sao Tome is cocoa, representing about 95% of export other export crops include copra, palm kernels, and coffee. The population consists mainly of foros from Foro Portuguese, that means free man, descendant of immigrant Europeans and enslaved Africans. Another group, the Angolas, descendants from formerly enslaved Angolans who were shipwrecked on Sao Tome and Principe in 1540. Portuguese is the official and de facto national language of Sao Tome and Principe. Portuguese is the official and the de facto national language of Sao Tome and Principe, with about 98.4% speaking it. Restructured variants of Portuguese or Portuguese Creoles are also spoken. Foro Creoles, 36.2%, Cape Verdean Creole, 8.5%. Gross domestic product GDP growth has been relatively steady since 2009, but growth is heavily reliant on government spending and has not contributed to poverty alleviation. GDP grew at an average rate of 4.5 between 2009 and 2016, with a mild declaration since 2014. Agricultural production has declined since independence in 1975 and is no longer the main driver of economic growth in the country. However, agricultural goods, especially cocoa, constitute the bulk of the country's export. Also, tourism in a natural comparative advantage for STP and already constitutes an important economic activity. Although the country is far from becoming a tourism-dependent economy, Portuguese navigators Pedro Escobar and João de Santarém discovered the uninhabited islands around 1470. They decided the islands would be a good basis for mainland trade. The discovery here estimates vary, but sources say Sao Tome was discovered on December 21st, 1471, and thus named after the saint. Principe was discovered on St. Anthony's Day, January 17, 1472, and initially named Santo Antao, that is St. Anthony. Principe changed its name in 1502 to do Principe, that is Prince Island, after the Portuguese prince who received the island's sugar crop duties. In 1493, Avaro Camija used a land grant from Portugal to establish Sao Tome, first successful settlement. A similar arrangement was made in place for Principe and it was settled seven years later. Earlier settlers were populations sent from Portugal since attracting inhabitants was difficult. Eventually, settlers had sources with growing sugar and other agriculture through the island's rich volcanic soil. The movement
Movement for Liberation of Sao Tome and Principe was founded in the late 1950s by a small group of Sao Tomeans seeking independence who eventually established a base in Gabon. Other African nations were also working towards independence at the same time, and the movement continued to grow through 1960s. So in April 1974, after Santana was overthrown as dictator in Portugal, the subsequent leadership in Portugal wanted to dissolve its overseas colonies and in that vein met with MLSTP in Algiers in November 1974 to transfer sovereignty. On July 12, 1975, Sao Tome and Principe finally gained independence after a short transitional period. Their first president was Manuel Pinto da Costa, who was secretary general of the MLSTP. Sao Tome and Principe is the second smallest African country. The country was founded by Portugal in 1470. Both the islands are part of the Cameroon Volcanic Mountain Line. It was one of the first countries in Africa to adopt democracy. The islands of Sao Tome and Principe are home to a large number of birds. Cocoa is the main crop of the island nation and it represents 95% of the country's export. The country comprises largely population of slave ancestry. The islands are great for people who love nature. If you don't know now, you know. Kindly subscribe to support the channel. This is Continental Update.